What is up, my dudes? This is Trent with the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by our friends over at Sleeper. Head over to Sleeper. Check out those dynamic payouts. Enter promo code DUDES100. They'll match up to $100. Check out the Sleeper Zone. Absolute best place to follow play-by-play fantasy football. All the key plays of all your leagues and all the guys on your team. Sleeper, the Sleeper Zone. It's all your fantasy football team goodness in one little section in that app. I'm just scratching the surface on that app, guys. Even if you aren't doing your fantasy football league there, Sleeper's a great place for fantasy football news and more. Today's episode, I'm going over week five waiver wire ads, the week four all duds team, some streams, some other good stuff, and then a new little segment I want to call here that's going to make a few of you pretty upset. More than a few of you. Maybe some Swifties even. Just a little thing called dream or stream. Patrick Mahomes. I brought this up in our fantasy football podcast today. Jordan might have been tilting a little bit. He did not like this. He called me the I word. That's idiot. Okay. So sorry if you have kids in the car. So he called me an idiot because of a simple text I sent him. All I said, guys, without Rasheed Rice, Patrick Mahomes might be bench worthy. Maybe the right word was stream worthy, but a lot of you Mahomes truthers are dreaming and you should be streaming. Going into week four, quarterbacks ranked ahead of Patrick Mahomes were C.J. Stroud, Geno Smith, Anthony Richardson, Derek Carr, Daniel Jones, Brock Purdy, Kyler Murray, Jaden Daniels, Dak Prescott, Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, all guys that were drafted quite a bit further behind Patrick Mahomes. We didn't draft Patrick Mahomes for this reason. He was a lock, top 10 QB top five QB every single week. And now that he doesn't have Rasheed Rice, I think it's worth discussing. Should we be streaming someone else? Guys, I know it. Maybe you can trade him. I don't think you have to play him though, is all I'm saying. Unless you're in a fantasy football league that gives points away for phantom PI calls, uh, injuring your own players, or roughing the passer calls that aren't really there. I don't think you have to play Patrick Mahomes. Maybe if he plays against the perfect matchup, that a team that can score a lot of points, this is the strangest 4-0 team that I think we've seen in a while. But Patrick Mahomes, guys, there's other QBs out there. Take your blinders off. If you took his name off of that list right there, you wouldn't play him. But since the name value of Patrick Mahomes, we think he's a must-start every week, and he might get there this season. I'm not saying he won't, but the name value, just take the blinders off, guys. We have to look at what he's doing. A lot of you are dreaming about Patrick Mahomes, and maybe you should be streaming for Patrick Mahomes. With that being said, guys, let's hop into my week four waiver wire ads. All guys are under 55% rostered on Sleeper, my favorite place to play fantasy football. So let's head into the quarterback position. Justin Fields is my number one QB ad on the week. He is 42% rostered. He put up 32 fantasy points today. He had 10 rushing attempts for 55 yards, two touchdowns on the ground. He went 22 for 34 passes for 312 yards and a touchdown. No interceptions. They did lose to the Colts, but Justin Fields, he's looking good. He's playing for the job. I don't think they're going to take it away from him. They're hosting the Dallas Cowboys next week, an offense that has been given, you know, they've been gouged and they're hurt. I don't know if Micah Parsons is playing. I don't know if Demarcus Lawrence is playing. This is a good spot for Justin Fields. You can add him 42% rostered and you can play him guys. I love quarterbacks that can run. Justin Fields is playing good ball right now. Next on my list, I have 36 year old Andy Dalton. He is 19% rostered. He had a good showing on Sunday. He scored 17 fantasy points. That's two more fantasy points than what Patrick Mahomes scored this last week. Andy Dalton scored 27 points last week against the Las Vegas Raiders, 17 points against the Cincinnati Bengals. He's getting Deontay Johnson involved. He's getting others involved too. Chuba Hubbard looked good. You know, he was on the waiver show last week. Hopefully you, you know, put some coin out on there. He went 25 for 40 passing, added three carries for nine yards, He's played good since taking over Bryce Young, guys. The offense is also more efficient. Andy Dalton, 19% rostered. Next on my list, he hasn't played this week because this is Sunday night. These are my early week five waivers. I will have more waivers over on X, or you can go to www.thefantasyfootballdudes.com, sign up for my newsletter, and it'll be sent directly to your inbox on Tuesday, guys. 
or just head over to X at TFF Dudes. Give us a follow and just, you know, kind of kind of keep cruising through that X page, see what we got on there. And uh, the waivers will be there eventually. Trust me. Promise you that will happen. Geno Smith, he's going to be playing the New York Giants. We saw what Dak Prescott did against the Giants. Anyone can do stuff against the Giants. I'm just wondering, can the Giants hang with the Seahawks? That Geno Smith's not needed. Geno Smith is QB 13 on the year right now. 42% rostered. Haven't seen what he's done against the Detroit Lions, but Geno Smith against the New York Giants, I think is a good play, guys. Next on the list, I have my week four all duds team, guys, and this one hurts. We got Josh Allen with 7.3 points. Travis Etienne with 6.5 points. Brees Hall with 2.8 points. Garrett Wilson, Jordan said the week with 4.6 points. Hopefully you listen to him there. Roma Dunze at 1.5 points. James Cook with 5.3 fantasy points. And Kyle Pitts, who I had the same amount as catches as him this week. He finished the game with zero fantasy points. That is a rough list right there. All of these guys were started over 50% on sleeper. So this isn't just guys, you know, that probably didn't play. We can all find guys that didn't play and say they were a dud. These are all big name guys that very well cost you your fantasy matchup. Almost put Anthony Richardson on here again. Thought it was poor taste putting him on for, you know, three weeks in a row. And plus he got injured. If Anthony Richardson's out, I think he can stream Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco, those Colts look good. Michael Pittman looked good. As of now, it's saying Anthony Richardson's not going to miss any time. But this is a Flacco pod, guys. We love Flacco. We were I was banging on the table for him to get comeback player of the year. So Flacco plays, fire him up. Fire up your Colts wide receivers, all that good stuff over there with all, you know, the Colts, you know, what is it for the shoe, all that stuff they say there. Next up, we have our running back waiver wire ads, guys. Running backs, Kareem Hunt, he's home back in Kansas City, had 9.5 fantasy points. He looked good. 14 rushing attempts. He... Out snap, he outplayed Steel 16 to 3 and Samaj P. Ryan. 16 to five. If Kareem Hunt could have got that rushing touchdown at the end of the game, another six points on that fantasy score, he really would have blown up on waivers. He's 38% rostered. He looks like the best back to have there. Steele did start the game. He had uh, six yards on two carries and then he fumbled, kind of went in the doghouse after that. So, Kareem Hunt, this is one of my favorite waiver wire ads this week. 38% rostered. Maybe you were ahead of the game, got him earlier. As much as I wanted Carson Steele to be the guy, it looks like Kareem Hunt's the guy there. Hopefully he starts getting those goal line carries. I think he's still getting his lungs back. You know, he was he had the hernia last year. He wasn't on the team a couple weeks ago. Kareem Hunt's a good ad. Uh, yeah, the 29-year-old out of Toledo. Go check him out. Uh, next on my list, I have Justice Hill. The running backs, li- running backs waiver wire ads are tough, guys, especially when there's no injuries. I know that the that Jonathan Taylor left with an ankle sprain. As, as of right now, it's looking like it's okay. Monitor that. Trey Sermon would be the next guy up. At the moment, it's looking like everything is okay. Justice Hill's the next guy on the list. list. 29% rostered. Looked good against the Buffalo Bills. Had four attempts for 18 yards, but he caught six passes, and he had six targets. 78 yards receiving and a touchdown. It's kind of the you know third and long back. He gets a lot of dump down passes from Lamar. Very valuable in PPR, half PPR leagues. And that is all my running backs. I'm going to throw it over to my wide receivers, guys. At wide receiver on my list, I have Josh Downs. There was a lot of uh, hype on Josh Downs during training camp with how bad Anthony Richardson has looked. Maybe that didn't help as much. You know, maybe maybe that's why he's only 29% rostered. Last week, he had 57% snap, had 57% of the snaps. He had five targets for three receptions, 22 yards. Today with Flacco, he had nine targets, eight receptions, 82 yards, and a touchdown. Not sure what the snap percentage was, but he had a big day against the Steelers. Um, They loved him all training camp. He's been injured most of the season. This could be a guy that could really put up some good fancy numbers if Anthony Richardson could just get his passes could just get, you know, if only half of them were a little bit better. Anthony Richardson could elevate this whole entire offense. And then as long as Christian Watson is injured and he is injury prone, Deontavian Wicks, it's a hard name for me to say, and I think I did a pretty good job. 
So let me know in the comments at YouTube at TFF Dudes if I did an okay job or if I did a lousy job. All criticism is good criticism. Helps us out. Go to YouTube. Give us a like. Give us a sub. Remember, don't be rude. Share the dudes. And leave a comment if there's just something boneheaded I did here on this pod. Or if you don't like the all-dead team because it gives you PTSD for how bad your fantasy football team was, just let me know. The Deontavion Wicks. Down the end zone twice versus the Vikings, guys. 13 targets, five receptions, 78 yards, two touchdowns. The 23-year-old out of Virginia looked good. 18% rostered. Like I said, as long as Watson's out, I think we can play Wicks. And maybe he does so good that they quit playing Watson. I, when Jordan loves that quarterback, you can almost start anyone that's playing, that's starting on that team. Uh, don't have his snap percentage yet. And I have Xavier Leggett, 39% rostered, had 10 targets, six receptions, 66 yards, and a touchdown, averaging 6.6 6, 6 yards per target. Leggett looked pretty good. He was on last week's list. Uh, caught his first TD pass today. I think he's worth the ad, guys. Dalton looks pretty good. He's He's keeping the offense in rhythm. They're moving the ball. It looks good. Next one on my list. I really like this guy. He's is uh Wandale Robinson, 46% rostered. He had 12 fantasy points versus the Dallas Cowboys on Thursday night. 14 targets for 11 receptions, 71 yards receiving. Week three versus Cleveland. He had eight targets for seven receptions, 61 yards receiving. Week two. Didn't do so good against Washington. Had four targets, two receptions, 18 yards. Week one, he had 12 targets, six receptions. You know, so he's getting about, he's his worst game. He's had eight fantasy points. He's never had less than eight fantasy points this week. He's only cracked double digits once. But at the moment, guys, Wandale Robinson is on pace for 111 receptions this season. He's a solid number two on the other side of it. neighbors. He's a, most likely a free agent in your league. Give Wandale Robinson a look. Worst part of the show every single week makes me want to gag. Probably makes you want to gag too. I got tight ends. This is a rough list. Taysom Hill left the game with a chest injury. They talked about this. You know, they always talk about this. He had 14 fantasy points. He had some rushing touchdowns. Not sure if this is sustainable. Tight end is bleak. Maybe put, maybe start him every once in a while. This is a guy that had more, you know, on the QB list, he had more fantasy points than Patrick Mahomes, like I said earlier today. Only 30% rostered. How bad tight ends are if this guy's playing, you know, what's the worst thing? He's going to get you four fantasy points, two fantasy points. It's almost like, you know, every other tight end in the league. Next, Tucker Craft, 8% rostered out of South Dakota State. 14 fantasy points, had nine targets, six receptions, 53 yards, and a touchdown. It did help that the Packers were playing catch-up the whole game, but... I just want pieces of this, you know, Packers offense. T Tucker Craft is starting over Luke Musgrave. Musgrave was, there was a lot of hype on Musgrave last year. Tucker Craft looks like he is the guy there. So Tucker Craft as my next, as my next tight end list. Then I got Cade Oten, 18% uh, rostered. He had nine targets today for the Buccaneers, six receptions, 52 yards receiving, had eight fantasy points. He's probably not going to goose you like Kyle Pitts. Uh, you get negative points once this week, though. And that is all my tight ends I got, guys. So I enjoy this show. I like doing it every single week. Kind of trying to keep it a little shorter. Make sure you guys can get it in there. Make sure you head over to YouTube. Give us that like. Give us that sub. Remember, don't be rude. Share the dudes. I got a defense here for you. This is a, it's an early show. I don't have all the injuries yet. Stuff like that. Defense I have is the Green Bay Packers. If Alexander returns, this could be a really bad matchup for the LA Rams and maybe leads to some coverage sacks, all that stuff like that. So go ahead, pick up those, maybe go pick up the Green Bay Packers. They're 27% rostered on Sleeper. I will have more stuff, guys, on my new my dudes letter I do every single week. You can sign up for that, like I said, or go over to X. There will be no strone not unturned for that. This is Sunday night. These are early waiver wires. Let me know what you think. Is Patrick Mahomes, you know, should he be in that stream category? Or are you just thinking like, hey, set it, forget it. He'll be there eventually. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for tuning in, as always, guys. We will see you on Thursday with our Week 5 preview. And as always, guys, take care.
This has been another episode of the Fantasy Football Dudes Podcast. Remember to rate, review, and follow. For more information, go to www.thefantasyfootballdudes.com. And remember, we are sorry for absolutely nothing.